guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an empties video for you guys. I'm gonna be telling you all of the products that I've used completely and what I think of them, like if I'll repurchase them, whatnot. You guys know the drill. So let's just jump into it because I kind of have quite a few products to talk about. First up, I will start with this Fave 4 Flex Reflect Lightweight Glossing Hairspray. It's one of my favorite hairsprays. Like, I love this hairspray because it's lightweight. I don't like too much hold on my hair, like when it's down and in messy waves. And I love this one because like it says, it's lightweight and it's glossing. Doesn't make your hair look greasy. Don't worry, I have really thin hair and it does not make my hair look greasy. It just makes your hair look really healthy and gives it a little bit of a hold. So this hairspray, I need a new one. I definitely will be repurchasing this because I love it. Up next is another favorite of mine. I think if you've been watching my channel for a little while, you know that I'm obsessed with the Origins Ginseng line. This is their Energy Boosting Moisturizer. This is honestly, prob probably, this is honestly one of my all-time favorite morning moisturizers. Like, the smell of it, I can still smell it, but the smell of this is just incredible. It's like a citrus, it's just the best. I love, love this so much. I can't rave enough about it. And if you've been following me, like I said, you already know that. Oh my gosh, I think my eye is just twitching. If you notice an eye twitch, just ignore it. But yes, I love this. I definitely need a new one of these because like I said, and I just spit. Like I said, I love this and I will definitely repurchase this. If you haven't tried this line, I'm obsessed with this the energy boosting moisturizer as well as the under eye cream. Just like my favorite morning combination. You can't go wrong with it, so. Okay, next I'm going to be talking about three products in one because they're all from the same line. This is the Garnier Whole Blends Color Care Conditioner. This is the Argan Oil and Cranberry. Um, it says it protects color and reveals radiance and honestly I just really like the Garnier Whole Blends line. I know that some people are like don't use Garnier but they've completely changed their formula and it's honestly all I've been using for the past like my gosh year and a half and I just I love them. I love this one in particular and then this is the color care mask so if you have color treated hair Try this out, it's really affordable and it works really well. So I would highly recommend this. I also love the coconut version, it's in a blue bottle. I don't know, I just really like these personally and if you find something you like that is affordable, why not keep using it? So, highly recommend these. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is not an empties. I thought this was the empty one of the, like the lip mask from Glam Glow. Um, I got two of these in a little duo a while ago and I used up the entire lip mask and I loved it. This is the Fizzy Lip Exfoliating Treatment and to be honest, I used this once and I just had a crazy reaction and my lips, like, it just like destroyed my lips. I don't know if that's just me. I haven't really like looked up if anybody else has had that problem. But this did not work for me. So the fizzy lip exfoliating treatment just burned my lips and made them so dry and sensitive. But the lip mask was amazing. So I highly recommend that one. If you have dry lips like I do, I would just put it on at night and sleep in it or even just wear it during the day. And it just worked really, really well for my dry lips. So one is great. This one, no go we'll never repurchase that. Just didn't work. Okay, another cult classic. I won't spend too much time talking about this. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I just, if you watch my channel, you know that I love this and I use it almost every time I do my makeup. Um, this was the last one I had, so I need to repurchase a new one. I have been trying out some other setting sprays, but so far, nothing I've tried compares to this one. So if you're looking for a setting spray, try out this one. It's just, it's amazing. It's like a cult classic, legitimately. So, can't recommend that one enough. Okay, 
Up next is this Dove Dry Spray Go Fresh. This is the Cool Essentials. This is a 48 hour antiperspirant. It's non irritant, um, it's a spray. I am not gonna lie, I hate this version. This Cool Essentials did not like work at all for me, which is shocking because I've tried two other kinds of this. The one with the pink cap and then the one with the like tan cap. Um, I think it's just like the original scent. So I've tried two other versions of this and they were amazing. Like I would go to a spin class and I smelled like I just took a shower. But for some reason, this one just did not work for me. So I don't know if that's just me, but I wouldn't recommend the green cap, the Cool Essentials. Go with either the pink cap or the tan cap because those were amazing. Literally didn't smell like 48 hour per antiperspirant. They're not lying for the other ones. But this one just, I don't know, sometimes you have like, like your skin can have a weird like chemistry with different scents and this one just made me smell worse. So I will not be repurchasing this one, but I do highly recommend the other versions of the Dove spray. So just getting that out there because this one seriously made me smell like gross. My husband was like, yeah, that's weird. So this one, no go for me but I did use almost all of it. I don't know why I do that, but even when I don't like a product a lot of the times, I still just keep using it because I don't wanna waste it. Anybody else do that or is it just me? Also, all of my stuff is falling off the bed. Up next, the Pixi Glow Tonic To Go Exfoliating Toner Pads. So this also comes in like a liquid, which I used for a very long time before I got sent these. Um, and honestly, I just love these because they're so convenient. They have 5% glycolic um, acid and then aloe vera and ginseng. So they're not drying. They're, I have really sensitive skin and they're not harsh on my skin. So I really like these. I will definitely repurchase these. Um, currently I'm using the liquid just because I have it. But these are just so convenient for me. I like to travel with them. I'll just take out you know, like a little stack of them and put them in a Ziploc baggie because it's just easy to travel with. So I really like these. If you're looking for something with glycolic in it, give these a shot because they're not, I don't know, it's not too powerful. It's only 5%. So it's just not harsh on your skin at all. At least on mine it's not. And I have really, really sensitive skin. So I loved these. Sad they're gone, but I will get more. This is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black Dry Shampoo. I really do like this dry shampoo because it smells like the Nirvana Black perfume, which I love. I, it's one of my favorite perfumes for fall and winter now because it's just so warm and I don't know. I'm terrible at describing scents, but I love the scent. I'm not gonna lie though, I don't know if this is my favorite dry shampoo. The white cast, you know when you spray dry shampoo sometimes, the white cast is just, it's pretty strong with this. So if you have dark hair, I definitely wouldn't recommend this. If you're blonde, it's not bad, but it is like, it's pretty noticeable. You really have to work it in. So it's not my favorite dry shampoo, but it smells amazing, so. If you don't wash your hair and you spray this in it, you're like, oh my gosh, I smell so good. But yeah, the white cast kind of ruins it for me. Not enough that I didn't use all of it, but it was a little noticeable for me and it kind of felt dirty. Do you know what I mean? Like you use dry shampoo because your hair is dirty, <laughs> but this kind of gives it even more grit, if that makes sense. I don't know. But it's not bad, I just wouldn't recommend it if you have dark hair. You'd like really, really have to work this in and definitely not spray it like on your part because I think you'd be able to notice it. But smells great. Don't think I'll buy this one again though. Another hair product that I went all the way through is the, oh, I don't even know how to pronounce this, Briogeo. Oh gosh, you guys know I s I'm terrible at pronunciation. Like 
It's just not my best quality. But this is the Rosarco Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray for weak and damaged hair. It repairs, hydrates, and strengthens. It has rosehip, argan, and coconut oils, and it is also silicone and paraben free. Um, honestly, I really love this. I think it's a great leave-in conditioner. It has helped my hair stay healthy and I definitely have color treated hair and I have dry hair in general. So this has really helped me. I actually have already gotten a new one. I got a new one sent to me in some sort of like box. I forget which box it was, but um, so I was like, amazing, I'm out of this. I needed a new one. So I've been using this for a while and it really works for me. So I would recommend it. And I do think it's pretty affordable. I think you can get it on Sephora. So if you're interested in, interested. <laughs> so if you're interested in a new leave-in hair treatment, this is a pretty good one. Try it out. A makeup item. This is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. Honestly, I think this is becoming a holy grail for me. It's just, I've gone through like four of these. I just keep using it and I need a new one right now. It just has like the perfect, I don't know. It doesn't get under my eyes. Um, it does, it just stays put. It makes my lashes look longer and fuller. I don't know, it just, it works amazing. And it's drugstore, so I don't think you can beat that. If you haven't given this one a shot, <laughs> get it because it's the big shot I didn't mean to do that I'm not gonna lie <laughs> if you haven't given this one a try try it out it's one of my all-time favorite mascaras now and that's saying a lot because I'm pretty particular when it comes to mascara like very particular so this is good a definite repurchase Another makeup item that I use all the time, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's just one of my all-time favorite concealers. If you haven't tried it, it's so good. It has great coverage without looking cakey. Oh my gosh, my eye twitch. Just ignore it, guys. Just ignore it. <sighs> I know I keep pointing it out, so how are you going to ignore it? But anyways, this amazing concealer. Everybody talks about this, so obvious repurchase for me. I already have another one of it but it's just that good. Up next is a face mask. This is the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. I've used this for years now. It's amazing for hydrating your skin. I put it on at night and I will just sleep in it. I don't wash it off or anything. Um, it smells amazing. It's just so great for dry skin. It gives you the most dewy and glowy skin and it just plumps up my skin. It just looks so healthy. I don't really know how else to explain it other than it just gives you that like perfect glowy skin. So if you're into that and you have dry skin, this is amazing, especially for winter. We all need a little extra hydration. I highly recommend this. And I love that they have the little ones too because I like to travel with this. And if you just wanna try it out, this is a good way to try it out. So this is a great hydrating mask. Definitely try this one out. How many times can I say that during this video? Definitely try this one out. Let's see. Okay, just a couple more products. This is a skincare product. This is the um, Corez Wild Rose. This is the Vitamin C Active Brightening Oil. I'm obsessed with this oil. I use it almost every day. Um, I use it in the morning and it's just great. It, it has a lot of vitamin C in it, so it helps to fade those darker spots from blemishes and it just really brightens up your skin gives you that glowy dewy skin look and apparently that's what i'm all about i just love glowy skin that's why i can't get enough highlighter i'm like glow glow i know sometimes it's just too much but it's okay whatever you're into right okay two more products Another face mask, this is the Derma E Purifying 2-in-1 Charcoal Mask. I have gone through so many of these with my husband. We both love these. This is one of my favorite charcoal masks. It purges pores of deeply rooted toxins. And I don't know, it's just, it's perfect for really like clearing out your pores. I love this. It's amazing. If you need a charcoal mask. This is a good one to try. Last but not least, this is one of my all-time favorite hair products. I've been using this for years. This is the, uh, I think it's 
or Serge Norman. I don't ever know. I think it's Serge. Um, this is the Metasheer Dry Oil Finishing Spray. It just makes your hair, A, smell really good because it smells good. And it just gives it that nice, healthy shine. Like, after using some products like Texture Spray, my hair can kind of look dull. And so this is amazing because it just makes your hair, it gives it a little bit of shine without making it look greasy. So if you especially have fine, thin hair like I do, this is perfect because it doesn't weigh it down and it doesn't make your hair look greasy. So this is a, a great finishing spray. And that is it. I know that was quite a few products, so I hope you enjoyed it though. I hope you enjoyed hearing about them and what I thought of them. Like I said, if I didn't like some of these, it's not necessarily the product. It's just, you know, it didn't work for me. But majority of these I loved and I will definitely be repurchasing or have already repurchased. So that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe below. It would mean a lot to me. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.